The Caretaker of Tree Palace by C. Don McCallum. Chapter 10, Tree Rings, the boy. And then he heard it. Scree, the rain dropped hard on the soil, splattering up sweetness. Thunder rolled overhead and lightning exposed the fiercest parts of the storm. But he'd heard it. Scree, scree. Doodle shivered, held his notebook close to him, and strained his ears to make sure. Scree, yes, he had heard it. There was no doubt. A flood of memories poured into him, soaking his soul with old sorrows and weeks of pain upon pain. The little bird on the forest floor, his mother's shoes, dancing with her in the woods, the smell of his grandmother's house, how she sat in the darkness, cuddling in her chair, his classmates' taunting laughter, tree palace, tree palace in the sunlight, and now tree palace in the middle of a springtime thunderstorm. Scree, scree, somewhere, it's somewhere near. Following the cries, Doodles walked the trails bending low and slinking as the skies pelted him with rain. Scree, he trudged toward the familiar sound. Scree, scree, the cry called him deeper into the woods to a place beyond the trails. Ducking under a limb, Doodles held his notebook close and fell to his knees to crawl. The dark gray day left little light to see. Then the sky exploded. A lightning bolt cracked nearby, and Doodles dropped close to the ground almost flat. But the cries of the little bird continued. He went on, pushing stickery vines away with his hands. They scraped his arms as he passed. Scree, scree, the cry was louder now. Just beyond the distance, he saw a movement in gray under a tree. A morning dove lie wrestling with its own body on the ground. The boy could see the tiny broken leg bent wrong under the young bird. The morning dove jerked away from him and cried. His hands reached for the bird. His mother's hands had reached for another bird on another day. He paused and looked for a place to put his notebook. He didn't have to see the pages to know they ran gray with water-faded images. Shoving it under his shirt, down the belly side of his pants, he stripped his wet jacket, making a soft nest on the ground. Gently, his hands cupped the little bird that trembled with fear, pain, and cold. Nestling the dove in his jacket, he lifted the little one in his arms close to his body. Ducking, sheltering the frightened bird, he ran home beneath the battling sky. Thank you for listening to The Caretaker of Tree Palace by C. Don McCallum. If you're enjoying this story, please consider sharing it with someone you know. And please like the video and subscribe to this channel to help others discover these stories.